thank you for being here at this interview. Uh, how has been your arriving in Colombia? Uh, so Carlos, it's great to be here and then thank you for uh, making the time for this, uh, this interview. So um, my experience, our experience of being here in, in Colombia has been great. Uh, we arrived here three years ago, five of us, uh, with our suitcases, with no office, no employees, no clients, no projects, literally nothing. <laughs> uh, so we had to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. It was completely a, a startup environment. And um, we started working hard to try and break into the IT market here in, in Bogota and, and Colombia. And within uh, six months, we had 50 engineers, uh, which was great. And we had uh, several commercial projects. And now three years later, we have a facility uh, uh, this is our, our main facility here in Bogota. We have around 220 people uh, working on projects for uh, the US, the UK, and Western Europe. Um, and we also have an office now in Medellin. And which is the Endava philosophy? The Endava philosophy is actually uh, very simple, uh, but something we're very passionate about, which is we help people succeed. We help people be the best that they can be whether it's our people, our teams here in our engineering centers, or our clients. So our philosophy is about helping people uh, do well, and providing them with the, um, the, the tools and the uh, ability to succeed and to continually improve themselves. Okay, which ones are the skills that did you have uh, the value of the most? Um, I think it's a balance. We look for people who have a balance of the hard technical skills and the soft skills. Okay. So uh, we look for uh, excellent engineers, uh, but excellent engineers who enjoy being part of a team environment, mm -hmm. who uh, enjoy interacting with teams, whether they're physically in the same space or in other locations. Um, so people who uh, are able to work in distributed teams, we also look for people who like to be challenged uh, and uh, improve themselves. So Indava has a, a high performance culture. Okay. And uh, something that we uh, consciously think about in growing people and growing our teams is providing them with challenge and support. Mm -hmm. Challenge and support. We believe if we cal calibrate these two uh, dynamics, then we grow people in a healthy and positive way. It's a coalition. Yes. Great. So what motivated you to participate in the PyCon Colombia event? Well, as you know, uh, we had a discussion just before this yeah. interview. Uh, <laughs> Python is now the third most widely used programming language in the world. Mm -hmm. So this is something that, you know, it's important for us to, uh, to be part of. And we understand that the maturity and the learning curve uh, and the importance in subjects like data science and machine learning. Yeah. These are reasons why it's relevant today and still taught in uh, computing faculties uh, you know, across the world. And uh, AI and machine, lear machine learning are an active part of Indava's service offering, stuff that we offer to our customers. Yeah. Um, so we believe there's high growth potential uh, in this area and high growth potential here in Colombia mm -hmm. to be part of the, these type of projects in the US. Okay, um, how was your experience on the event? Well, it was great. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so we had a speaker, Camilo, he's just one of our senior developers who led a workshop related to, to Scrappy. Uh, we had several of our team who were attendees and participated in the different workshops. So for us, it's very important uh, and for me personally, in the, in the environments that we operate, the cities that we operate, that we give back to the community. Uh, that's both the technical community and obviously the wider community. So for us, it's important to support uh, events like, um, the, uh, like PyCon uh, and also other technical communities that operate here in Colombia, as well as also creating some of our own communities. Yeah, I had the honor to participate in one of the Connect IT editions. Uh, could you explain to us how the event is about? I thought you looked familiar, yes, I yeah. remember. <laughs> so yes, you participated in, in one of the first ones. Um, yeah. So Connect IT it has a simple um, philosophy and, and structure. Uh, we started this in um, Kishino, Moldova, 
which is a small country on the um, eastern side of Europe where Endava started its engineering about 20 years ago. So I was based in Moldova and one of the things that we didn't have was a, uh, a platform to share experiences and knowledge with other engineers outside of our company. So um, we created Connect IT. Uh, I remember the first one I, I held in a pub uh, very close to our office and we had uh, 11 people, that's it. And nine people were from Endava and two people were ex Endavans. <laughs> so it wasn't, it wasn't great. But we persevered and the next one we had about 20 people, the next one we had 40 people, and the next one we had 60 people. And um, essentially it's a, it's a platform uh, uh, based on, um, s similar to let's say TED, where you have short 15 minute uh, talks and presentations and then an opportunity for the audience to ask questions. So it, it's a, um, uh, a platform, a channel for people to share experiences related to technology or their passions around this area. Um, so we invite people from the community to speak at the event, uh, as well as having one of our own speakers. We typically have three speakers yeah. at each event, uh, one from Endava and two from other companies. And we'll, we'll come up with a theme for the event. So the theme might be IoT or automation, and then the talks should be related to this theme. Um, so it's been very successful. It's now been rolled out uh, as a as a global brand for Endave in all of our, our locations, um, and we did the same here. You were part of one of the first ones, uh, and now we have around 50, 60 people that come every two months uh, to our facility to participate in this. And at the end of the the talks, we uh, invite everyone for uh, an asado and for some cervezas, and they can network <laughs> and have a good time. So yeah. it's very it's very informal and it's a grassroots uh, platform for uh, engineers to share with other engineers uh, their experiences within the IT industry. Yeah, there is a really great space and thank you so much for. for no, thank you, series. thank you for supporting us. So where people find information about it? On Facebook and LinkedIn, um, and we run, we try and run it every eight weeks uh, in in all the locations where we have Endeavour offices. So. Just go online, search for Connect uh, IT, and, and you'll find information. How has been your experience in Bogota? Um, we've had a great experience in, in Bogota. Um, we selected Bogota after location analysis of 17 cities across seven countries in Latin America. And uh, we shortlisted Colombia, uh, and then decided to start here in, in Bogota. And some of the reasons why we chose Bogota was uh, the outstanding academic infrastructure, so some of the very uh, strong universities yeah. in Latin America are here in Bogota, and some of the best technical faculties across the continent are here in the city. So that was important for us because that's an important part of the ecosystem to bring new graduates into, uh, into the market, but also so that we can maintain relationships with the universities in terms of uh, academia in terms of research and development so that was important for us we also spent time here in Bogota and also in Medellin and we really liked the city uh, we found great professionals at the universities great professionals in the market so experienced people uh, very good professional services and we understood that it was that it would be very uh, straightforward uh, at least for us in our industry to set up uh, uh, this type of business and it has been we haven't had any uh, real blockers it's been a, a straightforward process um, the market is developing so it's an emerging market and hopefully we feel that we can contribute positively uh, to that market so it's been it's been excellent an excellent experience and we found great people here in in Bogota and in Colombia so um, how can you describe the Colombian culture <laughs> That's a difficult question. <laughs> I think the Colombian culture is um, it's very unique for us. As, as Europeans coming uh, over here, we didn't really know what to expect. Um, so here in Colombia, I think people are um, progressive. So they uh, want to progress with their uh, professional life. They want a career path, which is something that's very important 
for us in Endava. We design career paths for all our people, uh, re uh, regardless of which departments they're part of. Uh, we felt that that resonated very well with people that were coming in for interviews because a lot of, uh, let's say, other companies don't offer that. So uh, that, was, that was a good uh, synergy uh, with what we uh, feel is important to offer our people in, in every part of the world. Um, uh, I think Colombians are uh, fun people, they're very positive people, uh, they're happy people most of the time, <laughs> uh, uh, and also they, they like to experience new things. So when we have projects or opportunities to travel to other parts of the world, our Colombian teams are very engaged and very yeah. happy to have that opportunity. So especially if we're starting a new project, sometimes for us it's important that the, um, the engineering teams meet with the clients to have initial meetings, to have FaceTime, to agree uh, methods of working and uh, how they will interact. And we, we often uh, send our teams at the start of a project to have those initial meetings on the client sites in the US or the UK and, and also our clients come here regularly. Um, so our, our guys had a, have an opportunity tra to travel a lot and within Indava we have different events um, in different parts of the world where our guys have the opportunity to, to participate. Uh, these can be uh, specific workshops around uh, software development or software testing or architecture. Uh, we also hold competitions global competitions uh, on um, innovation. Mm -hmm. So last year, uh, one of our Colombian teams won the global competition in Endava. We call it an innovations lab. And a team from uh, Bogota went to uh, Northern Romania to right. compete in the global final against other teams for, from uh, Endava. And they won, which was great. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was a fantastic opportunity for them. Um, and yes, we, we really enjoy uh, uh, being here and our customers and our colleagues from Europe who visit uh, Colombia and Bogota always have a good time. So uh, yes, it's been a great experience. Um, great. So Python community is one of the biggest technical communities here in Bogota. Yes. Did you have any plan to keep working together? Yes, absolutely. So we've started uh, in, in a good way. We're also supporting now PyLadies. Um, so we want to uh, continue working with uh, the Python community in, in general uh, and support them and give them a chance to uh, work with us on, on different initiatives here in the city. Okay, really, really great. So thank you. Uh, did you have any recommendation for companies or any interesting people uh, that want to be part of PyCon? Yeah, I, I, I would say that you know the, these are um, you know these are important communities to support. Um, uh, I would encourage uh, engineers and, and other companies to look at uh, supporting and speaking uh, the different uh, events and, and PyCon going forward um, to share stuff that they are working on with with related uh, to this language. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Muchas gracias. Thank you.